So let's do a little bit more complex problem here. They've got a system that's going to look like this. And we're going to give ourselves a point here. This is a point A. This is going to be 10 ohms. This is going to be 12 ohms. This is going to be 20 ohms. And we are going to make this one volt. And this is seven volts. I want to know the current through this one. I want to know that current. Well, there are several ways that I can talk or go about this one. We talked about our rules. Our rules is we have a node rule. And my node rule says that the currents that enter and exit my node have to equal. So I'm going to call this one I2 and I'm going to call this one I3. So in this case, I1 is going to equal, I1 plus I2 is going to equal I3. All right? Then, I've got my voltages and all that. And then we have a loop rule. So we can do this loop rule. So I'm going to do the loop around this one. So I've got my EMF1 minus my I1 times my 10 ohms. And then I'm going backwards across this one. So that's just the EMF there. And that's going to equal zero. That's my loop rule. And since I'm only wanting that one, I just can solve that right there. I get one minus 10 I1 minus seven is equal to zero. So 10, negative 10 I1 is equal to, I get minus six over here, so I get positive six there. I get I1 is equal to a negative 0.6. And that means that that I drew, the I1 is going in the opposite direction. So that wasn't the right direction to be looking at. 